YouTube, what it do, what it do, what it do, it's your boy Rebuke on this lovely Tuesday morning, man, and this story is courtesy of law and crime, you know what I'm saying, thanks for tuning in to your boy, and man, let's get into the details of this situation right here, we're dead, and I'm going to be seen as the cause, Pennsylvania man allegedly murdered wife on Christmas Eve, wrote would-be suicide note before arrest <laughs> so here you go right here man you got this dude that killed his wife man and you know that is a uh a terrible way to see to death do you part i guarantee you when they said those vows neither one of them had this in mind man may she rest in peace and may the most high give her family some kind of comfort Definitely sorry that happened to you, Miss Tammy Colbert. Tammy Colbert, no, uh, Tamara Colbert, my apologies, 39, was found dead in a third floor bathroom at her Pennsylvania home during the late afternoon on Christmas Eve. The deceased woman's husband has since been charged with her murder after allegedly calling and telling his father she died by suicide. Christopher uh, Kendig Colbert, 39, is currently being held in the Cumberland County Prison without bond, according to jail and court records reviewed by Law and Crime. He stands accused of one count each of criminal homicide, aggravated assault causing injury, strangulation, and tampering with or fabricating physical evidence. Puppy, hush. According to the Cumberland County District Attorney's Office, the Hamden Township Police Department responded to a call for a welfare check on December 24, 2022. Inside the resident on Wild Orchid Lane in the uh, census-designated place of Enola, officer found a 39-year-old newlywed dead. She had been shot once in the head. Man, how terrible is that? According to the police, there was a suicide note covered in blood found at the scene of the crime, but no suicide occurred there that day. We never should have had weapons in the house, the note began, according to Penn Live, citing Cumberland County court records. We both had tendencies to be angry when things went poorly. Writing any of this is silly since we're dead and I'm going to be seen as the cause. Christopher Colbert was originally arrested on lesser charges, one count each of simple assault and recklessly endangered another person. Court records reviewed by Law and Crime note, the, the defendant was initially held on $250,000 bail. Those charges were upgraded and bail was later revoked after the results of an autopsy determined that Tamara Colbert had been strangled before she was shot. Law enforcement say the request for a welfare check was made by the defendant's father, who lives in Florida. After a conversation with his son on the day in question, the alleged killer was irrational, emotional, and not completing sentences. During the, fall, during the phone call in which he allegedly said his wife had killed herself, according to a court document obtained by Penn Live. After that, Christopher Cobra's father tried to call his son back for a half an hour before he dialed 911 dispatch in Cumberland County and requested help. Responding officers claim to have found the house locked and the defendant sitting motionless inside the back seat of a car parked in the couple's garage at around 4 p.m. Christopher Colbert was allegedly non-responsive to officers' inquiries, so police forced their way inside before detaining him. Also, inside the garage, the HTPD alleged was a 9mm SIG sewer, pistol, and a bloody footprint. Law enforcement say the defendant had the air of alcohol about him, lacked coherence, and refused to answer questions for several hours, except to say that there was no one else home at the time. Eventually, however, Christopher Colbert, allegedly told the detective that he and his wife had an argument when asked about her whereabouts. The detective then asked if the man's wife was okay. The defendant allegedly replied, no, she's not. She stormed upstairs, unlocked the gun safe, we wrestled. 
I need a lawyer. Police say an investigation determined that the two had argued in the kitchen that Christopher Cobra pulled a knife on his wife there. That the knife fell to the floor and that uh, Tamara Colbert ran upstairs while scared for her life, according to court records reviewed by PN Live. While upstairs, a fight continued and the two wrestled and a firearm was discharged, officers wrote in a court document. But police don't believe the firearm discharge was accidental, at least not anymore. The defendant is also accused of removing his bloody pants, cleaning up the crime scene, leaving his pants on the living room floor, and then moving the gun to the garage. There is no one I love more than tomorrow. The would-be suicide note continued. She was my world, and I ruined it. I'm so impossibly sorry. Understand that I didn't kill her. She and I had a fight. We were not doing well. Tamara Cobra and her accused killer were both on their second marriage. They were married in February 2022. Man, they didn't even make it a year. The defendant was arraigned on December 29, uh, 2022. His next hearing is currently slated for January 12, 2023, before Judge Catherine H. Silcox. Man. That's wild, man. I'm trying to tell you. Some of the things that these people do, it's unbelievable, man. It's un I can't even understand why you would want to do that to your wife. I can't understand that. And you know what? At first glimpse, they both look like a nice couple. They both look like two nice people, man. You know that young lady right there? She got a lovely smile. You know, she looked happy in that picture. She looked healthy. You know what I mean? And now when you look at her husband, look at the difference. Because now you stolen that smile away from her, man. You stole her smile away. You stole her life away. You know? And now the system is going to steal your life away from you. You know? You're going to spend the rest of your life in jail thinking about that beautiful lady that you killed and, and your life that you ruined as you wrote off in your suicide note. And then you didn't kill yourself, which is a good thing, you know, because that definitely wouldn't be the answer. But you are alive and now you have to man up and pay for your crimes. But man, with that being said, you two, what do y'all think about this tragedy right here? Man, violence is never the answer. Never the answer. Life is too good for violence to have to be the answer. But with that being said, man, drop your comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to click on that notification bell. And I'll catch y'all on the next episode. Shalom.